Hello, I am Krishna Raghavendran and in this tutorial of MIT App Inventor, we are going to see how to create a voice assistant app using MIT App Inventor. So it is an AI or artificial intelligence app, mobile app, similar to Google Assistant and Siri. So what we are going to do is it can answer simple questions and if it doesn't know an answer to a question, it will search it in Google and fetch the answer for us. It, we will also add more features like we will be able to set an alarm using our voice. We can ask for the weather. We can also ask uh, for it to translate to different languages and much more features. So make sure you watch till the end and this is very easy to create. If you are new to my channel, my channel is all about creating your own mobile apps free and easily using a tool called MIT App Inventor which is block based coding and easy. So if you want to create fantastic mobile apps, start now by clicking the red subscribe button and the bell icon. Before we start first, let us look at the two main components which we are going to use to build the voice assistant or the AI app. So for that go to media and you'll be able to see speech recognizer component and text to speech component. So the first one speech recognizer component is used to find what the user is speaking. So we can find it and using if conditions in the blog section we can find what the user is speaking and we can give a reply to to give a reply the mobile needs to speak so for that we are going to use the text to speech component so first we will build the base for the app where you ask questions and it will also greet you using the text to speech and it will also show the text in the mobile using a label as you can see it shows hello krishna how can i help you it will also use text to speech and then using your voice you can ask quest simple questions like how are you and it will answer so let's build that first and it will also if it doesn't know an answer to a question it will search it for google so here i asked what is the largest planet in the solar system and it searched in google and showed jupiter so let us first build this to create this watch the voice assistant video which i made earlier the link is in the description below after you have watched this let's see how to add other features like translator and then setting an alarm and asking the weather and more features like that so after you see the video and after you create the voice the base of the voice assistant as i told you we will add more features so you will have something like this these blocks where you you'll have different questions so these are just examples given in the video like how are you and who is your creator so you can add lots of questions just go over here this settings icon and then you can bring in an another else if statement like this you can drag it inside the if statement now as you can see over here you have an extra else if statement next what you can do is you can just if if it is only like one option and there's no or you can just duplicate this one and then you can put the question over here like get result equals something and then over inside the then condition you can put the answer or if it, if it is any command then you can put the result for the command so first so first we are going to add a feature where it will show and also tell the time when we ask what is the time the time is 12:52 so to first add this feature duplicate the else if condition and add a new else if condition like this and inside this you can put the block and over here i'm going to change it to be what is time what is the time next we will get the time using the clock component and then using text to speech it will tell the time so to add the feature i already made a video on it so you can check that out where we use the clock component and text to speech to add the feature after you have watched the video you can add it inside the else if statement which we made earlier next we are going to add a feature where it will tell the weather for any place we ask it will tell temperature humidity and much more let me show you the demo you can ask me any weather information what place do you want so i'm going to tell my place chennai what is the temperature the temperature is 91 degrees fahrenheit now i'm going to ask the sunrise time sunrise time the sunrise time is 5:58 a.m. Next I'm going to ask for the humidity level. 
What's the humidity level here? The humidity level is 63%. What is the wind speed? The wind speed is 6 miles per hour. Precipitation. The precipitation level is 4%. To add this feature, you can again create a separate else if condition and you can put the question over here like for the weather and then you can also add a button where you can put weather and then when someone clicks on the button, it will redirect you to the weather bot app. So to add the feature, watch the weather bot video which I made earlier and we will use the weather extension for this weather mate extension to create the app. Next we are going to add a feature where you can ask math questions and it will calculate and tell the answer using text to speech. So to add the feature again you can add another else if condition and over here you can put like calculator or something like that and then what you can do is you can add the feature and to create the voice calculator we are going to put many if conditions and we will also use the math blocks over here like addition subtraction and multiplication and division so we will put it using if conditions to check what the user is telling so for that you can use nested if conditions where you can just go to control and then put the if condition inside the else if condition like this so to add this feature watch the voice calculator app video which i made earlier the link is again in the description below next we are going to add a feature where you can message or sms or chat with your friends or family using your voice so for this we are going to use the main component which we are going to use is the texting component which you can find under the social as you can see there's the texting component which from which you can send SMS to any phone number. So to add this feature, watch the voice messaging app video which I made earlier. The link is again in the description below. And you can use the else if, a new else if condition for this. Next you can add a feature where it can navigate to different websites like Google and YouTube just using your voice. Like you just using speech recognition, you tell go to google.com it will go to google and if you tell go to youtube.com it will go to youtube so it can go to any website and you can also add functions in a web browser like back forward and also the reload or the refresh fun function to add this feature watch this video ai web browser app video which i made earlier the link is again in the description below and we are going to use the web viewer component over here to navigate to different websites so next we are going to add a translate feature where it can translate to different languages just like google translate so for this we are going to use the yandex translate extension and this extension uses the yandex translate api to add this feature watch the translator app video which i made earlier but in this video i didn't tell you how you can add voice which means you can enable voice and add text to speech and speech recognition so after you watch that video you will have something like this and now let's learn how to add the voice command using the speech recognizer and the text to speech so over here we are instead of the text box as the input we will use the speech recognizer so let me just delete this and then go over to media and over here i'm going to bring in both speech recognizer and text to speech like this next let's go over in the block section so when button 1 which is the translator button is clicked we will get what the user is speaking to get what the user is talking for which we we are going to translate using this block speech recognizer one dot get text now let's bring this out like this and then after the speech recognizer gets the text what we will do is we will translate it for that let let me put the block over here like this so we will call the yandex translate to translate it the text to translate and over here you can put the language and then the text to translate we will get the result like this now after we do this it will translate it and then using text to speech we can speak it out so over here let me bring in this block called text to speech one dot speak message and then what I'll do is I'll just duplicate and put this block over here so we will show it in the label and also we will use text to speech to make it speak 
now you'll be able to notice that i have only these three blocks the event blocks and it is because i'm doing this as a separate project and it is not combined with the voice assistant project so but you can combine it because to add more features and make it like google assistant next you can add a feature where you just dictate the notes and it will just write it down in the text box so for that make sure you watch the voice notes app video the link is in the description below you can also add a feature where the ai or the voice assistant will ask you questions like a quiz and you need to answer using your voice the speech recognizer as you know the google assistant has lots of games for entertainment for the user so you can add a lot lots of games to your voice assistant too so as you can see i have a whole playlist in my channel about how to create games using mit app inventor so you can create games like catch the cat rock paper scissors and then you have how to create a lucky draw app or game and then dice rolling game and if you want to watch these all these games in a playlist i'm going to give the link in the description below too so now you have added a lots of features for your voice assistant to add more features you can just look at my videos over here as you can see my all my videos are about creating your own mobile apps using mit app inventor so if you want you can just watch this email video and you can add the text to speech and speech recognition and you can convert it into a voice email app using which you can just use your voice to type the email the same way there are also many other apps like ai alarm app and then you have the speed meter app and much more over here so you can watch these videos to create it thanks for watching the video click here to watch the full course of mighty app inventor to create 100 plus apps